the, the lower levels of the GD deal with data, uh, data maneuvering and mastery of the traffic situation. In essence, that is you know, teaching somebody how to make a car go and how to make it stop, and when to make it go and when to make it stop. You know, so how do you integrate the traffic, when do you go, when do you stop, and how do you actually make to do that? And traditionally, that's what driver education is tended to focus on. It's focused on getting the, 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 the driver, the, the novice driver, to be able to handle the car well and to be able to integrate the traffic. What the goals for driver education did was expand that to the goals and context of driving. And I'm going to talk about that and give you an example of that in a moment. And then also the goals and skills for living. This is really important stuff because our goals for life and skills for living affect the types of journeys we will do. So if we have a particular mindset about things, we will engage in journeys that we perhaps shouldn't do, or we will have different goals for a journey. So for example, if we look at a young person, right, well, what do you think is one of their goals in life? <coughs> think about, you know, think back to when you were young. Some of you are very young already, in case it's too hard for But what were one of your goals in life? What were, what were some of the worries that you had in life generally? Mortgage. Mortgage? <laughs> not when you were young, not as you were very young. That's in the yeah. Sit, yeah, sit and be mobile. You start and work. Yeah, good ones. That's in the driving Responsibility? Were you worried about responsibility when you were young? Uh, no. no. What about the fake name? Yeah. Yeah, fake name? Yeah. I want to not be too. I, I don't mind being a member of a certain group, you know. You know, I don't mind being a member of a group of people who are similar to me or who I can connect with. But what I don't want to do is end up on my own. Right? So one of the big things that teenagers have got to face, right, and you people, is this idea that I'm trying to find where I am in life. Right? Where do I fit? Which part of society do I fit into? Right? So there's actually a lot of fear, right, in a young man's life. Right? People are, can be very worried about those, those issues. Right? So, if that's one of your goals for life at this moment in time, fitting in with not society in the general, but some subgroup of society, our, my peers, then the goals and context for driving might change. You know? Imagine, right, I want to fit in, and all my friends and peers want me to go fast. So I'm going to be the one who's going to go slow. Suddenly, one of the goals for the journey is not just getting from A to B safely, but it's getting to A to B in a way that impresses my friends as well. Now that's a completely different context. You know, if you gave every novice driver a million pounds every time they, they got from A to B safely, how many crashes would we have? Very few, because they'd want a million pounds. Right? That's a different context to get. So our goals for life, how we view things, really affect what we're trying to achieve in our drive, driving task. And of course then, if we see speed as a goal for the journey, then the mastery of our traffic situation, we're going to not be looking for a gap, we're going to be looking for, well, sorry, we're not going to be looking for a safe gap, we're going to be looking for any gap. You know? And of course then, we're increasing the demand on actually our road skills. You know, can I control the car when I'm driving around like this? Am I going to lose control? Am I following too close to the car in front? So each part of the matrix affects the lower part. 